Okay, so in this particular chapter, we'll talk about database migration. So what we'll do is we'll create a virtual machine. In that virtual machine, we'll install MySQL. And after that, we'll add a few extra databases and tables and data within the, those tables. And then after we've done that, we'll use the database migration service to migrate all this data into Cloud SQL, which is basically a managed service that is provided by GCP for, for MySQL. So let's see how we can do this. The first thing that you need to do is you need to run these commands to install MySQL in your virtual machine. Now these commands I'll give in the description below so you can just run these commands and set up your MySQL database. So once you've done that, let's create a few databases or let's create one database, uh, create a table in that and add some data into that particular table. So let's see how we can do that. So let's go back to our instance. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is we'll run our database. So let's call our database is just going to be using the root user and the password will be password. So what we'll do initially is we'll create a database called user. Let's click on create database user. So these commands I'll give in the description below as well. So let's use that particular database, create a table called persons and just add a value into that particular table. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's do a select star from user. Let's run this command. Sorry, it should be select star from persons. And you can see that this table is there with this particular data. Okay, so now that you've got this, the next thing that we need to do is we need to run the database migration service in GCP. So let's go and do that. Okay, so you can go to your database migration service. So you can just go to your hamburger menu. And within databases, you will find that particular service. So you can just go to your database and within that you'll find your data database migration. So let's open this. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a migration job. Let's click on this. And we need to give a name for our migration. Let's just call this as my migration. And the source database here would be MySQL. So we are going to keep the source database as MySQL and the destination would be Cloud SQL for MySQL. So it's going to be a managed Cloud SQL database which runs the MySQL database engine. So we'll keep the job type as one time. So you can also do a continuous real-time synchronization, synchronization between your source and data uh, destination as well. But for this example, let's just keep this as one time. Let's click on this and let's click on save and continue. So here you need to give a profile name for your source. Let's just call this as my source MySQL database. And here you need to give the host or the IP address of the virtual machine that's running your uh, Cloud SQL. So let's get that. So it's running on top of a virtual machine. So let's go to our VM. So this particular instance one, which has this external IP address is running my database. That is this particular database that I just created. So all that I need to give is just the external IP. Let's just copy this and let's paste it here. And here we need to give the root and the password for our database. So the, uh, the username and the password for our database. The username is root and we can give the password as well. So the password here is just password itself. And let's click on save and continue. And here we can create our destination. So the destination is going to be a cloud MySQL and it's going to be version 8 because the source is also version 8. So the source and the destination should have the same version type. So that's important. So let's give a password for this as well. So let's give the. And let's just choose the cheapest configuration that is available. So let's just keep this as lightweight and the storage type should be HDD and let's keep the storage capacity as the most minimum that is 10 GB and let's click on create and continue. This will create a MySQL database. Let's click on create destination and continue. So it takes so it takes a few minutes for this destination to get created. So let's just wait for a few minutes. Okay, so after the destination has been created, you can go to your defined connectivity method and you can choose the IP allowed list. So this will cause this particular IP address, that is the virtual machine that contains the uh, MySQL database to connect to your destination. So once you've done that, you can click on save and continue. 
and here you can test the migration job so let's click on test job here and see whether this particular test works and you can see that the test run was complete and all that you need to do now is just create and start this job so let's click on create and start job let's click on this and let's just wait for this particular migration job to finish okay so you finished your migration and it successfully completed in a few minutes so now let's go to our mysql so let's go to sql and let's open the destination sql database that we created let's click on this and you can see that there's an instance called my migration and let's open this and this particular instance will contain let's go to the databases so we had created a new database called user that should be available over here and you can see that it is okay an easy way to connect to your database is you can click on this overview and all that you can do is you can just click on to connect using g cloud just click on this open cloud shell enter the password and just do us uh, first you need to use the database so the database would be user and now let's do a select staff from persons and you can see the data is available here so that is so this is how you can do your database migration from a virtual machine to your cloud sql so i hope this was useful i'll see you in the next